welcome to another episode of Join the Rush. My name is Andreas Sachin and this is Steve Dangle. He hasn't been to bed for over 24 hours. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. At this point, why not? You got two trickle. It's a nice shirt. It is a nice shirt. Am I? I, I don't like when you start the video. Guy gets video software for like two weeks and all of a sudden he's a wizard. Demon! And not the things that look alike. The Sedin brothers. No, no. Oh, you mean, sorry, KHL. The Alshevskis. No, what I have in mind is John Carlson's recent go on the Pittsburgh Penguins. By Backstrom on to Carlson. Kunis is out of gas right now. Which reminds me of a goal I saw in another league. Uh, the KHL. Uh, not quite. Is it Dynamo? Yes. Hmm. Game three of the AHL Finals. Mike Koska sends one around the boards and Ben Scrivens, the goalie, tries to play the puck. Oh, it oh, takes a bounce off the boards for the goal and Norfolk with the one nothing. And you might be wondering, Steve, Andre, how about you talk about some KHL things? And this is totally related because Nicholas Backstrom and Alexander Ovechkin played on Dynamo Moscow this season on the same line and now they play for the Washington Capitals, just not on the same line. Which is working out great. No, they're in last place. You may say that there's not a lot of similarity between Dynamo Moscow and uh, Washington Capitals because Dynamo Moscow was up there and uh, Washington Capitals down here. But let's take a look at Nail Yakupa, for instance. He played for Neftehimik Nizhnikamsk, and they were in the middle of a standing in the KHL, pretty closer to the bottom, actually. But now he's doing really well on the Edmonton Oilers, who are actually on their way up. Even though a lot of people thought they would suck still, but they're pretty good. Goals. He enjoys scoring them. Does he? A little bit. 10.6 seconds left. They put a little bit more on the on the clock, and the faceoff won by Belanger. Shot knocked down by Stoll. Oilers again. A shot save. Rebound. Score. Yakupov. Four point seven seconds to go, and the game is tied one to one. Back up top. Paul walks in, fires a wrist shot, a bouncing puck, they score! Neil Yakupov! Overtime winner! <laughs> Pass here by Hemsky, Rister gets through, deflected off the skate of Whitney, and right there, out of the air, great hand. What we're trying to say is just, there's no expectations. Don't bother asking what's going on, because I don't know what's going on. He never does, though. Speaking of questions that never should be asked, uh, here's a Yevgeny Kuznetsov recent interview. Можно ли было с вашей точки зрения решить исходить свечи в основное время? Все-таки повели три-два, такое такое шанс. Насколько я знаю, был серьезный разговор в сделке. Вот что произошло, почему и что говорил Белидинов? Я не знаю, откуда вы знаете. Быстро нашли общие с партнерами по тройке. Да, быстро, конечно. А за счет чего? За счет языка. Русского. Да. It has potential. We have to play it out. Who's going to be Kuznetsov? Is that a serious question? Sorry. What color is your jersey? It's black. Okay. Uh, we are in number? Number in your jersey? Uh, 92. Can I see the other side, please? Still 92. Okay. Uh, you've got it. We saw some number 92 are wearing a black jersey on the yesterday. Uh, did you play a hockey game today by any chance? Yeah, with skates and everything. You're getting a watermelon! Is that a fruit or a berry? Is this like a show? Am I in a... is this a game show? Well, I tell you what, if Kuznetsov is sick of doing interviews in Russia, he's more than welcome to join the Caps. They could use him. Alright, now back to things that look alike. 2012, a famous fountain in Ufa Arena. Oh, it's deep here, it's not possible. Oddly enough, Alex Radulov quite upset. To some extent, yeah. February 
2013 St. Petersburg, Russia plays Finland and uh, Zamboni machine breaks down. А вот начнется ли третий период вовремя? Большой, большой вопрос, поскольку здесь сломалась одна из ледозаливочных машин. И вот сейчас ответственные товарищи ломают голову над тем, как бы так ее посподручнее с ледяной площадки вывести, вытолкать. Radulov didn't say anything after the game. At least I couldn't find any quotes. And uh, I wonder what he would have said. Maybe, yeah, probably, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially because the Zamboni machine broke down in exactly the same spot. Mikhail Vernikov coughed up the puck late in the third and that led to this. Опять игра в равных составах. Ой, как неаккуратно здесь сыграл. И вот Ой, это Барнаков, приводит. Барнаков неаккуратно сыграл в своей зоне. И, кстати, Юхаба Телтонин оформляет хит-трик. Если есть болельщики сборной Финляндии в зале, то, в общем, на главные уборы не должны они поскупиться. Юхаба Телтонин 3-3. Ошибка чудовищная в своей зоне, чудовищная в своей нелепости. Canada best. And this is it for this episode of Joining the Rush. Once again, my name is Andreas Hachenko. This is Evgeny Kuznetsov. Uh, Evgeny, do you know how to fix his own bony machine? No. All right. Now, what I had in mind is recent John Carlson goal on the Penguins Penguins. <laughs> on the Penguins Penguins. <laughs> The team team that's so nice, nice to say it twice, twice. <laughs> oh no. Penguins, penguins. Things that look alike, eh? Things that, <laughs> things that sound alike. <laughs>